The day of our second competition grew closer. This time, we decided to behave like real competitors. No shopping, no card games, no violin, no garlands, no radio, no internet. Everyone was totally focused on training, on physical and mental training. I personally wanted to make sure my theory was up to scratch. Not even a bomb could have upset my focus. Unless that bomb was a young man. Hey, listen to this, you'll never believe it. We listened to you a lot already, you're putting us off. No, seriously, I've just been sent a weird mail. Someone wants to meet me in the chapel. No way! What for? Take the path to the chapel and find my fire inside. You mean the chapel's on fire? Yep, and I know someone who's going to put it out. Know what? I think I'll go. It's probably one of those sultry Frenchmen from the Pinewood Academy who turned up this morning. A Frenchman set fire to the chapel? Whatever for? Right, girls, I'm going to see what this is all about. Let us know. You're mad. Don't go. What should we do, Aureli? We must call for help. I think she'll get along just fine.
It's a postcard of a work of art. Oh, it's magnificent. There's a message on the back. The cliff at the end of the path conceals a message. Are your eyes eager enough to read it? Showing your face. Anybody there? 